This is a Guinness World Record certificate. It states that the world record for most medication donated in 24 hours was achieved on the 30th of January this year. The Guinness team counted 207,169,292 doses in six warehouses around the world. It was achieved by a coalition of pharmaceutical companies, governments, health organizations, and charities called Uniting to Combat Neglected Tropical Diseases, which has donated more than seven billion treatments over the last five years. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Look here, it even says officially amazing. <laughs> And it really feels amazing to be part of a Guinness World Record, especially as this record is about treating the poorest people of this world against debilitating diseases called neglected tropical diseases, or NTDs. NTDs are a diverse group of diseases that prevail in tropical and subtropical conditions. They impact more than a billion people, most of them living in poverty. This is George. George lives in rural Africa. The reason for his huge belly is a parasite infection called schistosomiasis. George is stunted in his development, tired most of the time, cannot follow in school. The parasite larvae hide in standing water and penetrate the skin. Every time George steps into water, he risks infection. If not treated, he might die. Treatment is simple. Three Proxiquantel tablets for his size, one treatment, and he's free of parasites until he steps into water again and is reinfected. Yearly Proxiquantel treatment will prevent irreversible effects like his huge belly, despite the quick reinfection. Schistosomiasis is one of the 10 neglected tropical diseases the coalition wants to control and eliminate. My role in this program is to make sure Proxiquantel tablets are produced in Mexico and shipped to the recipient countries, mostly in Africa. Last year, I had a chance to do a safari to northwestern Mozambique into the back country of Murupula district to see how these donated medicines are used to treat children. NTD treatments are typically done in massive treatment campaigns coordinated by the Ministry of Health and its partners. Reaching the destination was an adventure. I was impressed by the dedication of the local health workers to treat all their children despite the poor and remote environment. And seeing my drug containers out there in action in the back country of Murupula district was hugely rewarding. But how do these drug containers get there? From the warehouses the Guinness team counted them in, all the way to back country Murupula district. How do we keep an overview of our shipments and make sure the tablets actually arrive where they need to go? Shipping donated medicines to their destination is a challenge. Import procedures are complex and time-consuming. Weak infrastructure in the country adds to the challenge. So in order to make this happen, a lot of partners need to be involved. The donors, the logistics service providers, WHO, global, regional, local, local authorities, other partners involved in the treatment campaigns. If the collaboration between those partners does not work seamlessly, we face delays in the shipment and potentially miss a treatment campaign. No treatment this year. If you order a product with an online retailer, you get an email with a link to the shipment tracker. You click on the link and you immediately know the status of your shipment. Wouldn't it be cool to have something like this for our donation shipments as well? Two years ago, the supply chain experts of the coalition teamed up with some digital experts to build such a shipping tracker. It went live end of last year 
It is called NT Deliver. And at this point, tracks the shipments all the way to the first warehouse in the country. So now we can send an email with a link to the shipment tracker. The local experts can check the status of their shipment and make sure it matches their local campaign planning. We are piloting this right now, and we expect huge improvements towards speed and reliability of treatments. Now, when the tablets actually arrive in the country, things get even more interesting. Because now the local organizations need to make sure that the tablets are distributed all the way to the treatment points, for example, Murupula district. As of today, with very limited overview of local shipments and local inventories, the people who take care of NTD treatments are very good in planning and coordinating these massive treatment campaigns. They take care of all the medical topics. But there are no supply chain experts. So things happen. A huge amount of tablets expired in a warehouse and had to be destroyed. We don't always use all available tablets because the tablets left over after this year's treatment are not systematically channeled into next year's treatment campaign. And sometimes local inventories are identified so late. That we are not able to reroute shipments to other countries which would have needed them urgently. Once again, a shipment tracker would be really helpful. But if we want to track the shipments all the way to the treatment point, we obviously need to know how many tablets were used at that treatment point. So, how do we do that? You've seen this picture before. Look at the left edge. And remember, this is backcountry Murupuna district, miles away from the next electric plug. They have mobile connection. Actually, mobile phone density in rural Africa is really high. Typically, no smartphones, feature phones, but connection is available. So, we tested text messaging input from the treatments during this year's school based treatment campaign in Kenya. Together with the Ministry of Health and its partners, we involved more than 1,200 teachers. We tracked the shipment all the way from the central warehouse, and the teachers, after treating their children in school, sent a text message with a batch number and the number of tablets used directly into the system. The pilot clearly showed that the system works. So now, first time ever, we have end to end visibility of our shipments. From the initial donation through the central warehouse all the way to the treatment point. All in one place, in real time, on the mobile phone. So, here are two examples of what we can do now. The system shows that a school has only used a very limited amount of tablets. This is real time, so we can follow up. Perhaps there was not enough food available. And as Protsi Quantel needs to be given after a meal, only a very limited amount of children could be treated. The local experts can now work with the teachers to get the food available and have the children back on the treatment schedule within a few days. The system also knows all the inventory in the country, which batches, which expiry dates. So we can proactively steer where and when tablets are used to avoid expiry and destruction. And of course, knowing the inventory still in the country allows us to supply the exact amount of additional tablets needed for next year's treatment campaign. Let's take the idea even further. The next step would be to ask for the number of people treated. This would give us a real time treatment report. The current paper based report takes about 12 to 15 months to become available. Treatment reports are important to measure the implementation of NTD treatments worldwide. A system like this could also replace the paper based reporting altogether. Or let's imagine we integrate another level of information. WHO publishes the number of people requiring treatment per country. Take that information, consider the amount of people treated in the current campaign. And the amount of tablets still in the country. 
the system could automatically calculate the amount of doses needed for the coming years based on real-time data. This could almost work like one of those self-ordering fridges you can buy nowadays. Still, many stakeholders would need to join in to achieve end-to-end -end tracking. We would not change the amount of tablets donated, but we would change the amount of tablets arriving where they need to go at the point of treatment helping patients. We will increase the impact of the donation, accelerating the journey towards control and elimination of these diseases, saving George and millions of other people from terrible suffering and possible death. Thank you.